Learn by demonstration. Single fix point offensive forehand strokes. Adjust the robot controls to aim the balls at a specific location. For example, aim the robot to the left or right of the center of the table. One may also aim the robot to the baseline to practice long shots or to the middle for short shots. This drill is effective in practicing powerful offensive shots or a relatively soft controlling hit. Obviously, one can also use this drill to practice topspin or looping shots. This drill is very effective in improving your fundamental forehand shots. Backhand push and or block. Adjust the robot controls to aim the balls to your backhand area. Practice hard pushes or soft drop shots. One should change the frequency of the ball delivery to improve your reaction time and rhythm. Push turn attack. This is an important practice drill for defensive to offensive transitions. After making a backhand push block or several push blocks, suddenly turn to your forehand position and shift your weight to make a forehand offensive shot. The turning of the body must be timely so that you are in your ready position before the robot delivers another ball. When starting this drill, the frequency of the serving balls should be relatively slow. You should also practice your footwork to react at different positions. Push top spin loop transition. Adjust the robot controls to aim the balls at distant spots with underspin, topspin, or nothing balls for different variations of the drill. Push once or several times with the backhand, and then quickly turn to the forehand to make topspin or looping shot. Mastering this type of transition from passive defensive shots to forehand attacking spin shots is a significant step to becoming a higher level player. Forehand two consecutive offensive shots. Adjust the robot controls to oscillation and aim consecutive balls at spots within a distinct angle with underspin, topspin, or sidespin combinations. Attack the balls with the forehand only. This drill is very effective in improving your hand, arm, body motion, and coordination. Also, it is an excellent variation of drills by adjusting the oscillating head to a wider angle. Alternatively, you can turn the robot head up or down for longer, close to the table edge, or shorter, middle of the table shots. two-wing strokes. Adjust the robot controls to oscillation mode, starting with the smaller oscillation angles. 
practice forehand attacks and backhand push alternatively. The purpose of the drill is to learn two wing coordination. In the advanced stages of this drill, increase the oscillation angles gradually at each setting until the widest setting covers the entire table. This will in time allow a forehand attack and backhand push to be executed effectively and comfortably. Random Ball Drills This is a rather difficult drill for beginners. However, players should practice this drill more frequently, especially if one is a tournament level player. Random Ball Attacking Drills can improve the player's reaction time, make the player more decisive in making a shot, and improve footwork. This drill will certainly bring a player to a higher level of performance. Underspin strokes. First set up the robot about six feet away from the baseline of the table and then set the controls to serve underspin balls. One should practice topspin or lobbing strokes with these settings. Pay attention to your body, arm, hand positioning and footwork coordination. You may vary your strokes from fast forward topspin to looping shots or to high arc lob shots, etc. once your timing is getting better. Lobbing. Set up the robot about six feet behind the table and set the controls for underspin strokes. Then set the controls to serve high arc topspin or lob shots to various spots on the table. Practice attacking these high arc topspin balls. Sometimes even world class players will miss those high lob returns. This is an important drill for all levels of players. receiving serves. Adjust the controls to serve different spin balls landing on the robot side first and then bounce to your side of the table. This drill simulates a real serve in actual playing time. During this drill be sure to practice recovery footwork after each shot. Notes. During these drills recommended above, the player must be patient, follow their coach's advice and pay attention to their body form for each type of stroke. Think about each ball delivered by the robot as a shot received from an opponent. In your mind, you should think about the type of ball being served and how you will react to it. Also, you should follow each ball with your eyes into your paddle. Finally, you may want to invent different settings to practice your own creative shots.